Hi everyone, my name is Nick and today I'm going to show you guys how to create a multi-channel post. And this is an incredibly useful feature if you want to be communicating across teams uh, and across channels uh, in the most efficient way possible. Um, if you find this useful, you know what to do. And with that said, let's jump on over to Microsoft Teams. Okay, so here I am just within my um, general channel for my supply chain team. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a multi-channel post to communicate to all of the channels I have inside my team, all from a single post. Um, and this can be done um, obviously just for channels within a single team, but also for other channels that you're a member of. Um, now, obviously backwards communications are, are really key to this, which is why um, I tend to use this a lot for my communications in the way that I can create one post and then send that out to multiple different teams. And then all those different teams can communicate back to me directly um, all from that one single post. So it makes it a lot more efficient um, rather than having to potentially um, write out the same post multiple times in multiple different channels um, or do a mass email um, and then potentially include a bunch of people that don't necessarily need to know about it. So um, what I tend to find is actually being targeted around how you post your um, communications in teams is actually really crucial and also how you structure out each team as well. So without um, rambling on for too much longer, I'm just going to show you quickly how to go about doing um, a multi-channel post. So in your um, post section here, you can see that just by typing, you know, it's a standard post, but there's a little format button just here, this little uh, A and pencil mark. If we give that a click, that'll expand into the full functionality of a communication or a post in this particular channel. Now, we obviously have new conversations, drop down menu, anyone can apply and you have lots of different options, right? So I'm not going to talk too much about this. I'm just going to say this is a test because that's a subject of um, the communication. And here are some notes. OK, so um, my whole communication basically is here are some notes and I'm going to send this to um, this particular channel, but also a different channel within this team. Um, and, but you're not limited to the same team, you can do it elsewhere. So this section here where it says post in multiple channels, you want to give that a click and then you want to select channels here on the far right hand side. Now from here, what we can do is um, choose um, which teams you want to send it into or search. OK, so for me, it's only this um, supply chain team that I want to be posting into and I have um, basically three different channels that I can communicate into. I have um, the general channel, which is where the post is being started. I want to put it into the meetings channel and I'm going to send it to the private group as well. OK, um, and with that done, you just click update. OK, I'm going to click update. And now we can see that it's going to the general channel. It's going to the meeting channel and it's also going to our private group as well. OK. Um, Anyone can reply or you and moderators only, um, depending on how you structured this out. So you could just have it for team leaders or however, uh, or whatever moderators you have for those particular channels um, slash teams. Um, but I'm just going to leave this to anyone can reply. It's a new conversation or an announcement. Now an announcement um, gives you a little bit more kind of um, spark, I guess. You can add um, images to the top of this um, and add a headline. Um, or we can just do it as a conversation. Now, personally, when I send out communications, I use the announcements. I find that they just get people's attention just that little bit more. Um, so I'm going to do that. Um, and I haven't got a, an image to add here, but um, if you wanted to, you could. And I think I have an example of what that looks like this. OK, so this is an announcement. You get this little icon uh, in the top right hand corner there. And here's an image and I just go, okay, this is a test, another test, right? Um, so what I tend to do is um, I use the supply chain channel as my test team. Um, so I put all my tests in here. So if you wanted to, we could add an image uh, and it gets people's attention a lot more um, efficiently um, than just the standard communication. So I'm just going to say um, here is a test. Um, with the subject test and then in some notes, okay? And it's going to my three um, channels um, and then all I need to do is hit the send. 
Okay, now it's been sent um, to all of those locations. Okay, so here in my post of my general channel, you can see it right there. And if I come to my supply chain team and I go to my meetings, you can see it's also here. And I can go to um, the private group and you can see it there as well. And this is the uh, announcement that I did with the um, image as well. So you can see obviously how they would look, okay? Now, if I reply here and I just say um, hello, for example, and I send that as a reply in from the private group, if I come back to um, my meeting, you can see that that reply is not there, okay? So basically you've created duplications of um, the communications and what that allows you to do is it allows you to have individual conversations with different channels all from the same communication you've sent out and that's why I use it you know religiously it is really powerful from that perspective because I can send out these communications to multiple different teams and have different conversations engage uh, engage with people differently um, all from that single post that I put from the general channel, okay? And all of that information gets fed back into your activity feed in the top left-hand side. So you can have those conversations very efficiently. Um, and guys, it is as easy as that to create a multi-channel post um, from Microsoft Teams. And I honestly, start using it and um, see how you get on. But I find it incredibly powerful, incredibly useful. Um, for basically allowing you to communicate cross teams, cross channels um, and gather uh, and have good quality engaged conversations with other colleagues. Um, if you found this useful, um, you know what to do and I'll catch you guys in the next video.